Hello everyone, I'm Fruit for Dogs and today I want to do a small quick unboxing of an Asian limited edition. Before I do that, I want to quickly backtrack to a video I did um, a few weeks ago when I showed you my complete collection of limited editions from East Asia Soft via Play Asia. And I mentioned in that video uh, two games um, that were very close to being sold out but were miraculously still available. And at the time I pointed out that it couldn't be much longer before they're sold out. Um, and my prediction was accurate. Well, it was a simple prediction to make and an obvious one. But I noticed today uh, when I was on the Plasia website that Mercenary Kings has sold out. And since then, I've already seen a few messages online from people saying, oh, I'd wanted to buy that. Has it already sold out? What a shame. That's the way it goes, I'm afraid. Um, the, I need to emphasize that anything that has the word limited in it, whether it's the company name or the description of the package, like limited edition, or anywhere where it says limited print run, that's exactly what it means. There's only so many copies available, and once they're sold, they're gone. And the only other way to get um, hold of a copy then is um, uh, to go to eBay and hope you can find it there, um, either secondhand or still um, sealed in the box. And of course, then they're often more expensive. Um, Severed I saw is still available uh, and at a reduced price, but uh, my prediction is it won't last long either. So um, that was just a quick reminder because I've noticed we are having more and more new Vita owners appearing. We certainly see it on Twitter, on hashtag Vita Island. People are buying uh, Vitas secondhand from Japan and they're coming in as new owners and they're not quite familiar with the market, which is a bit unusual for the Vita, of course, because not many games are being produced anymore, certainly not physically. So the market is quite tight and you need to be aware of certain things to be able to have a happy experience um, buying your games. So if in doubt, ask. Ask people on Vita Island, ask me, ask anybody else who's got Vita experience. Okay, that's just something I wanted to mention. Um, I also wanted to show you my, my new shirt, which is the, I call it the Mishi shirt, because it features Mishi, who also sits there proudly, uh, the falcon mascot, and particularly well known because of Trails of Cold Steel. And I think it's also got the Trails of Cold Steel logo here on the sleeve. And the particularly nice thing is, you see, I have always wanted to have a tail. A bit like Esca, you know, in Atelier Esca and Loggi. And now I can wear one. So I'm very happy. Okay. Uh, now to the business end of today's video, and that is unboxing uh, this small package. And it's based on an anime called Is It Wrong to Try to Pick Up Girls in a Dungeon? It's a question that I don't feel... Um, qualified to answer um, but as you can see it's quite a tongue-in-cheek the whole thing. Uh, I started watching the anime a while ago and uh, I'm finding it very entertaining, very light-hearted, 
uh, very good natured uh, and quite intriguing. So uh, I'm definitely into it. And that's why I decided uh, to get the this edition. Uh, it's only just come out. So, um, so I received it from Play Asia and it is the Asian edition, which means it is region three. And as you can see from the sticker on the front, it's what they call the multi-language edition. So it has um, English language included as subtitles, of course. So let's dive into this and see if I can uh, unpick the cellophane. Um, the interesting thing about this is um, that I was reminded today that when the an edition was announced of this particular game to come out both for the PlayStation 4 and the Switch, so you can choose which platform you prefer, which is great, um, there was a bit of I would say a bit of argy-bargy behind the publishing scene. Um, most unusually, um, two companies had announced that they were going to do editions for this game. And uh, Play Asia was the first one out of the blocks. Um, I will put details about the second one in the description below, uh, a British company called Rice Digital is putting out a more elaborate collector's edition, and that will be available in May. Now, let me see. I think this is a slide out one, I'm hoping. No, it isn't. Uh, let me see. Oh, this is really... It's got one of these little tabs. Yeah, it's coming out okay. So it folds out like a book. So this was always going to be a, a modest limited edition with just the game. And the soundtrack. So I'll just open up the soundtrack and I'll, I'll put it on, um, if I can get into the cellophane, that is. It, yes, so um, as I said, there is another edition coming out in May, and um, they will produce both a European um, certificated version, EU, or, that is PEGI rated, and also an American version, which is ESRB rated, and you can order from them. Um, and I had a quick look at the shipping charge, because that can often be a killer, of course. And it looked um, quite quite reasonable to me, actually, because let's face it, I live pretty much at the bottom of the world. So uh, shipping here is always expensive. So uh, it looked very reasonable. Um, now cellophane, no it doesn't, I can't even with my knife get into it, just a moment. Um, so if you fancy uh, an edition of this game, uh, that is another one to look into, either the Asian version or look for the, um, for the European or North American version. Um, that's a shame, I really wanted to put the soundtrack on. But um, I think there are, goodness me, uh, I have never had such a problem before. My sturdy knife usually uh, manages to uh, get under almost anything. Um, there we are. Phew, that was difficult. 
yes, yeah, so this is an interesting situation, I have to say. Um, I'm quite happy to have a copy of the game uh, so that I can, you know, start playing it, experiencing it while I watch the anime. Um, they promise that while it is based on the story arc of the anime, they say that there is additional uh, story elements and content in there. So it's not just a rehash. So I'll just um, scoodle over and um, try and put that CD in. This is the soundtrack. It looks quite nice. So there we are, we have a bit of music, and I better uh, open up the game. I'm not expecting anything else to be in, in here, apart from the um, cardboard cover and then the, the game case itself. So there we are. There. We have the cover and the game itself. More cellophane, more cellophane. I'm really getting a workout here today. Is there a little, no, there, oh, there is a little strip here. Yes, that was handy. Thank goodness for that. And here we are. So that's the game. And there's a, a leaflet with a, um, a redemption code. As I understand it, you can get an extra little sort of arcade type game uh, with, with this, um, but it's only available on Asian PlayStation region accounts. So if you have one, you could redeem it and have a, a little extra game, which actually looks quite, quite cute and quite, quite nice. Um, but this is the main one that I'm after. So um, I'll be having a look at that pretty much straight away. I will load it up and play a couple of hours or so um, and then give you my first impressions. And... It is 24 hours later and I bring you an update. Um, interesting things have happened. Um, I popped the disc into my PS4 last night to have a quick look at the game and all I could see was Chinese language. I fussed around, I tried everything I could think of um, there is no um, option to adjust the language inside the game. Um, I gave up because it was getting late and it did occur to me that uh, a lot of discs these days detect the language at the system level of the PS4 uh, and adjust accordingly. And that's what I would have expected. But of course, my PS4 is set to English language, so I felt like something was off. Um, so I contacted um, uh, Play Asia customer support, uh, not really expecting to hear back until maybe 24 hours later or so. Uh, but the next morning, uh, this morning when I got up, um, I saw that at 6 a.m. New Zealand time, I'd received an email from customer support. Uh, so that means someone must have 
dealt with it at 1 a.m. in Hong Kong, uh, which is quite amazing, really. Um, they have had already several inquiries about this issue, they said, um, and reiterated that I, would, I had to check that my system language was set to English. I, I said, well, it is set to English, and uh, I said, I'll, I'll go and have a look and, and take some video footage to show you what's going on. Uh, so uh, it was only when I went into settings language and checked that I remembered there are at least two settings you can choose for English, either UK English or US English. Of course, for us in, uh, in New Zealand, by default, it goes to UK English, uh, and that's what I usually have on, on most of my consoles. Um, I thought, okay, let's try the other one, and I set it to US English. And guess what? The game popped up in English in all its glory. Uh, so that solved that particular little pesky issue. But I had a bit of a restless night, I have to admit, uh, worrying about it because I thought if I have a faulty disc or something's not all right, it's going to be a hassle. No, but it's certainly something uh, you would need to be aware of uh, if you were getting the game uh, because I, it wasn't immediately apparent to me what the issue was. Uh, I also think um, that's a spot off um, an oversight, I would say, on the developer's part or the company that managed the, um, the different language uh, settings, you know. Uh, so uh, that's all okay. Um, so I, as promised, I... I will play a bit of the game for you. I have started and I'm still in the sort of tutorial stage, having to swat goblins in the dungeons. It's rather, it's rather boring at this stage and not very exciting. There's not much I can show you yet. So I'll try and get on a bit um, and, and then show you a bit of the action. Uh, there's certainly a few comments I will have to make about the game. The music in the background is from the soundtrack, by the way. So all that remains uh, is for me to let you know that uh, with the box uh, came a, a clear A4 plastic file and I'll just show it very briefly because YouTube and anime boobs, I don't know, I'm just being a bit careful here, you know. Um, so that comes with a limited edition, but outside the box obviously doesn't fit in. But I found something else at the bottom of the box, and that is really rather nice. So I'd like you to see that. So I just have to get it out. There we are. Okay, and that's the art book. It does have the title in English, but in fact all the text inside is in Japanese. I'll show you a bit of what the art book covers. And here we are already with the main characters. Um, that's the uh, that's the main uh, protagonist and um, the hero um, called Bell, and his counterpart in the dungeons, who will be fighting with him, Ais Wallenstein, a very proficient swordswoman. And the other important female character is Hestia, who is a goddess um, who provides um, our hero with the backup and support um, he needs. And obviously they, they are pretty much taken from the anime. 
And here are some more characters. Kept quite simple, really, I think, for, for the game. And that's the characters. And then we get into uh, detail, which I would have problems deciphering. I might have a go with Google Translate to see if I can glean some information. Um, but it may be just um, repeating a bit what the tutorial in-game also shows you. So for Japanese readers, there's certainly a wealth of information there. Um, that's that's one of the monster enemies I remember from the anime. A silverback, a gigantic one, appears and they, they have to subdue him. It's a very good scene in the anime. So monster designs. And... Oh, yes, quite a few. Stats. And a bit of... CG gallery, I imagine. And yeah, that's a that's a nice booklet to have, I think. Um, it'll force me to learn a little bit uh, of Jap uh, you know to read a few Japanese words, uh, which is no bad thing. And it's nice browsing through. So I'm very happy to have that because as much as I like having a soundtrack, having an art book is always the big thing for me. Um, so that's all I have to say at this stage about is it wrong to try to pick up girls in a dungeon. Um, I will try and uh, record some uh, footage of the gameplay so that won't be far away and I'll give a little commentary um, so you can get an impression uh, of the game. And that's it. After 24 hours, I have managed to wind up this presentation. That's quite something. Thank you for sticking around. I hope you found it interesting. Keep well. I'm Food for Dogs. Bye-bye.